the dusty streets of Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso bear witness to a momentous occasion. A whisper of change, a tremor of hope, a $15 million deal, inked in the heart of the Sahel, promises to rewrite the destiny of a continent. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a name whispered in hushed tones, arrives from Zimbabwe, a nation familiar with struggle and resilience. He brings with him not weapons but ideas, not rhetoric but innovation. Chikumbutso, the inventor, the dreamer, is greeted by President Ibrahim Traore, a man who embodies the aspirations of a new Africa. Their handshake is a symbolic fusion of ingenuity and political will. In this arid landscape, where the sun beats down with unforgiving intensity, a new energy revolution is about to dawn. This is not just a business deal, it is a pact of defiance, a commitment to shatter the chains of dependency that have shackled Africa for far too long. The old order, built on exploitation and control, trembles at the audacity of this alliance. For in the heart of Burkina Faso, a nation often overlooked, a beacon of hope is ignited, a beacon fueled by the promise of self-reliance, of a future where Africa charts its own course. At the heart of this audacious venture lies a technology that challenges the very foundations of modern science. Maxwell Chikumbutso have unlocked the secrets of self-powered energy. His inventions is about to reshape our world. Imagine a world where cars run without fuel, where generators hum to life without the need for diesel or coal. Where the lifeblood of industry flows not from pipelines and power grids, but from an inexhaustible wellspring of clean, sustainable energy. This is the promise of Chikumbutso's greener power machines. But for those who have witnessed the impossible, who have seen these machines defy the laws of physics, there is a glimmer of belief. The implications are staggering. An era where Africa, so long relegated to the role of a resource colony, becomes the architect of its own destiny. Ibrahim Traore, the young and charismatic leader of Burkina Faso, is not a man to be underestimated. He ascended to power on a wave of popular support, promising to break free from the shackles of neo-colonialism and usher in an era of true independence. Traore recognizes the transformative potential of Chikumbutso's technology. He sees a future where Burkina Faso, and indeed all of Africa, is no longer beholden to the whims of Western powers and their insatiable appetite for energy. No longer dependent on the IMF, the World Bank, or the oil cartels that have held the continent hostage for decades. This deal is not just about energy, it is about sovereignty. It is about reclaiming Africa's rightful place on the world stage. It is about empowering a continent that has long been denied its birthright. Traore's vision is bold, some might even say audacious, but in a world grappling with the existential threat of climate change and the destabilizing effects of energy insecurity, it is a vision that resonates with hope and possibility. The West on the Brink an energy paradigm shift. The impact of Chikumbutso's technology, if realized, would reverberate far beyond the borders of Africa. The West, built on a foundation of fossil fuels and a global system rigged in its favor, watches with a mixture of apprehension and disbelief. The energy markets, carefully controlled by a cartel of powerful nations and corporations, would be thrown into turmoil. The oil giants, their empires built on the backs of developing nations, would see their dominance challenged. The geopolitical landscape, shaped for centuries by the pursuit of energy resources, would undergo a seismic shift, but the implications go deeper than mere economics. The planned obsolescence model, the bedrock of consumerism, would be rendered obsolete. The very fabric of modern society, built on a foundation of consumption and dependency, would be called into question. The West, faced with this existential challenge, must now confront a choice, cling to the old order or embrace a new paradigm of cooperation and shared prosperity. The stakes have never been higher. Protecting the flame of innovation, history is replete with cautionary tales of brilliant minds silenced, of groundbreaking inventions suppressed. The spectre of sabotage, of external forces seeking to control or destroy this transformative technology, looms large. Chikumbutso, aware of the risks, understands that the path to a brighter future is paved with thorns. Memories of Patrice Lumumba, Thomas Sankara and other visionary African leaders cut down in their prime serve as stark reminders of the forces at play. The echoes of their silenced voices fuel a determination to protect Chikumbutso and his invention at all costs. 
Security is paramount. A veil of secrecy shrouds Chikumbutso's movements. His research, the blueprints of a new world order, are guarded with unwavering vigilance. For the enemies of progress are many, and their reach is long, but fear is a poor motivator. It is the hope for a better future, the dream of a self-reliant Africa that drives the guardians of this technology. The weight of history rests on their shoulders, but they do not falter, for they know that the fate of a continent, perhaps even the world, hangs in the balance. The $15 million secret that could topple the West, how Maxwell Chikumbutso and Ibrahim Traore are rewriting Africa's destiny. There comes a moment in history when the convergence of visionaries shifts the course of entire civilizations. That moment is upon us. The sudden whispered alliance between Zimbabwe's self-powered tech inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso and President Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso, sealed by an alleged $15 million secret deal, could mark the beginning of the end of Western economic dominance. What we are witnessing isn't just a political partnership, it's a pan-African technological uprising fueled by purpose, precision and power. At the heart of this alliance lies a revolutionary invention, a self-powered energy system capable of turning any car, diesel, petrol or electric into a vehicle that drives indefinitely without fuel or charging. A technology that not only revives ICE, internal combustion engine vehicles, but renders the entire global EV market model obsolete. And for the first time, it's not the West holding the patent, the prototype, or the production lines. It's Africa, Maxwell Chikumbutso. The physics-defying disruptor Maxwell Chikumbutso has long been underestimated by the global scientific community. A self-taught genius from Zimbabwe with only a junior secondary school education, he built the first self-powered car, self-powered generator, superbike, and drone that run independently without any external energy input. His technology bypasses the laws of thermodynamics as we know them, hinting at a practical utilization of zero-point energy or some unknown clean energy field. For years, Maxwell faced systemic obstacles, from blacklisting and threats to intellectual property sabotage and character assassination. He became a symbol of suppressed African genius, too dangerous to be commercialized in a world addicted to oil, batteries and grid dependency. But now Maxwell is no longer alone. Enter President Ibrahim Traore, Africa's revolutionary patriot. In a world dominated by puppet presidents and Western-aligned policies, Ibrahim Traore stands out as a revolutionary leader with genuine Pan-African ambition. Since coming to power, Traore has taken bold steps to kick out French influence, reassert control over national resources, and uplift the youth with a message of pride, resistance, and independence. His government has already moved to nationalize assets and challenge the CFA franc stranglehold imposed by France, but energy independence? That was always going to be the last and hardest frontier until now. Sources close to both camps suggest that Traore's government has quietly provided $15 million in covert funding to begin a multi-phase deployment plan of Maxwell's self-powered technologies across Burkina Faso and select West African nations. It's not just funding. It's protection, political cover and manufacturing access. What's in the deal? The African Energy Renaissance Blueprint. The Alliance isn't just about cash, it's about a strategic vision. One, technology, localization, Maxwell's core self-powered systems will be produced in Africa using African labor, materials and institutions. Two, defense applications, self-powered drones and surveillance devices will be used to enhance national security and reduce reliance on foreign military tech. Three, agricultural revamp self-powered generators will electrify remote farms, making food preservation, irrigation and agro-processing possible even without national grid connections. Four, transport revolution retrofitting ice cars and bikes into infinite running machines. From taxis to trucks, Africa's road network is about to be reborn. Five, energy for all micro gridless energy distribution using standalone generators for homes, businesses and public infrastructure. This deal is structured under a veil of secrecy, not out of paranoia, but because they understand the stakes. Once publicized, the Western machine will likely activate every tool of disruption it has, sanctions, disinformation, coups, even sabotage. 
Why the West is terrified? The West is not just scared of African innovation, it's terrified of Africa becoming self-sufficient. The energy sector alone is a trillion dollar industry. From oil exports to battery minerals, the continent has been milked dry while being kept in the dark. Maxwell's technology destroys that model. Big oil collapses if Africans no longer buy fuel. EV giants fall if Africans no longer need lithium-ion batteries. World Bank and IMF influence fades if African nations become energy independent and no longer need predatory loans for power infrastructure. Defense tech reliance weakens as Africa builds indigenous self-powered drones. What's even more troubling for them is that this isn't just innovation, it's existential disruption. It pulls the curtain back on the illusion of scientific supremacy held by the West for centuries. A Zimbabwean dropout backed by a Burkinabe rebel president cracking the energy code, that alone shatters the narrative. The push of one button, the African dream in real time. For millions of Africans, this alliance is the button they've been waiting to be pushed. A single action that can end blackouts and power shortages, provide free mobility for farmers, students, workers, eliminate energy poverty in rural regions. Create millions of jobs in manufacturing, maintenance and tech transfer. Make Africa an exporter of innovation, not just raw materials. The retrofitting program will allow existing buses, taxis and freight trucks to become self-powered fleets. No fuel, no emissions, no limits. It's not just a game changer, it's changing the game itself. Imagine African countries no longer begging for aid or grants, but setting the price of energy solutions. Imagine an Africa where power cuts are gone, where fuel queues are history, and where technology is born and thrives on the continent. That's the vision Maxwell and Traore are building, the hidden battlefield, protecting the vision. But this revolution comes with a cost. The greatest threat now is not funding, it's protection. Maxwell Chikumbutso is a walking target. The West has a long history of assassinating or neutralizing threats to its hegemony especially when those threats come from the global south. From Thomas Sankara to Patrice Lumumba, Africa's greatest minds have been silenced not for what they did, but for what they could have done. The stakes are now even higher. That's why part of the $15 million deal is reportedly being used to build a mobile underground lab and security system, ensuring Maxwell can continue his work securely and silently, without dependency on any foreign institutions. What comes next? The first wave of self-powered machines is expected to hit African markets by late 2025 or early 2026 with Burkina Faso, Mali and Zimbabwe as early adopters. Quiet test runs have allegedly been conducted already and results have outperformed expectations. As the news breaks out, other African leaders are expected to join the alliance, creating a pan-African tech coalition. The next phase? Building African-controlled patents, Pan-African manufacturing hubs and continental energy corridors based on independent off-grid systems. This is not a protest, it's a paradigm shift. Africa isn't asking to join the table. It's building its own table with a new power source, a new consciousness and a new alliance that dares to dream beyond colonial limits. Conclusion, Africa's time is now. For centuries, Africa has been exploited, misrepresented and controlled. But today, with just one secret deal, two of Africa's boldest sons are preparing to flip the entire script. Maxwell Chikumbutso brings the flame. Ibrahim Traore protects the torch. Together, they may light the fire that burns down Western economic imperialism and gives birth to the African Renaissance we've all waited for. This isn't science fiction, this is science freedom, and it's about to go live.